Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, Wu Xiaolian Wan Ru. Today we're going to talk about the effective rate of protection. So we know that sometimes the government will impose a nominal tariff on imported goods in order to protect domestic firms. And sometimes the effective rate of protection can be either higher or lower than this nominal tariff. And today we're going to take a look at an example to illustrate this idea. So suppose we have two firms, Sony, that's a foreign firm, and Dell, that's a domestic computer firm. And under free trade, the two firms, they have similar cost structure. So we have the um, component parts of the computer that is worth $400 for both firms. And notice that for Dell, they import these component parts and assemble that domestically and then sell them. So we can see the component parts is worth $400 and the assembly is worth $100. So the final price of the computer is $500. So we can notice that under free trade, Dell must make sure that their domestic assembly must be within $100 so that the final price will be $500 and they'll be able to compete with Sony. Now suppose the government imposes a tariff on foreign computers and the nominal tariff is equal to 10%. So what will happen to the price of a Sony computer? We know that initially the price of Sony computer was $500. Now the consumers will have to pay a 10% tariff, that's $50. So the price tag for a Sony computer will be $550. What about Dell? Well, they all they import the um, component part that is $400. Suppose this component is tariff free. And uh, they'll only need to make sure that the final price is $550. Then they will be able to compete with Sony. So they'll only need to make sure that their assembly is within $150. Then they can compete with Sony. So how much more inefficient can Dell be compared to free trade? Well, under free trade, they need to make sure their assembly is within $100. Now their assembly can go up to $150. So how much more inefficient is that? That will be $150 minus $100 divided by $100, and that gives you 50%. So the effective rate of protection is actually 50%. But we can also use an easier way in the textbook, use the formula effective rate E is equal to N minus AB divided by 1 minus A, where your N is equal to nominal tariff rate on the final product, and your A is equal to the ratio of value of imported inputs to the value of the final product. So in our case, the value of imported components is $400 and the final product was $500. So your A is equal to 400 divided by 500, and that gives you 0.8. What about B? B is a nominal tariff rate on imported inputs. And in our example, um, that's 0%. So in this case, we can just plug in numbers to this formula to find the effective rate of protection. So E is equal to N minus AB divided by 1 minus A, and your N, the nominal tariff rate on the final product is 10%. So 0.1 minus AB, your A is equal to 0.8, and your B is 0, divided by 1 minus A, A is 0.8. So after you calculate, you get 50%. That's exactly the same as how we calculated before. So that is the effective rate of protection. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.